So you want to main Razi in Season 5. This video is for you. What's poppin' everyone, it's your boy Levi, and I'm going to be showing y'all how to run the Glock Electron Blaster Transition build that we refer to as the Two Guns Razi. I've been a Razi main since Season 1, and I'm currently the number 4 Razi in NA. First thing I want to note is that this is not a beginner's guide to Razi. This is assuming you already know the character and thinking about taking her into ranked. Here's a look at the build for Two Guns Razi. If you're familiar with the Jeb's Bow build that was popular for Ryo and Hyejin back in Season 3 and 4, then it's the same thing but with a pistol. This build is one of the more complex Razi builds and I recommend it after you kind of get the hang of the character. The first thing you want to do for this build is before you even get into game, look at the characters in the character select. Some things you want to keep in mind doing this build is how many people are starting in Cemetery and Dock. With the new additions to loot in Season 5, I'd recommend this build if there are less than 4 people in each zone. It doesn't really matter how many people are in Hospital, but I tend not to do it if there's 7 or more so, so I don't get a bad spawn. The next thing you want to check for are your threats. You're fairly safe through Hospital and Cemetery and your earliest point of death is probably Dock. You want to watch out for other Razis and make sure you're outpacing them, but the big one to watch out for is Rio. Rio has two popular their builds at the moment, the Jeb's Bow build that is the same routing as you, and the Temple Start Ancient Bolt build. If there's a Rio doing the Temple Start build, you want to stay away from her in Dock. She's going to get their zone too, and it's hard to fight if you don't have your components. Other than that, you're the biggest threat in Dock. So you start Hospital. Instead of blankly staring into your character, take the time to check out who spawned in Cemetery. Always, always, always run to this middle four loot zone in Cemetery if it is open. In my case it wasn't, a Hyun Wu spawned there, but you 100% want to loot there if you can. Hopefully you got one of the two good spawns close to a cemetery in hospital. If not, and you're not too far away, just run to them if they're open. Just follow your saved route plan and don't worry if you miss a scrap metal here. You can move on with just one. The only extra item you need is alcohol and maybe some milk or ice to chew on for SP. Do not drink your water, you'll need both of them later. If you get one of the two good spawns in hospital, run over the cemetery. If not, use the hyperloop and hope you don't get the loot spawn. I opted for this distribution loot zone right out of hospital hospital because I figured I was moving faster than the other Razi. That Razi ends up running to the middle quadrant, clearly didn't check where the Kyung Wu had spawned in some, and wasted a lot of time. Again, keep following your save plan. The only extra item you'll need is coffee to make mocha bread. You can get coffee in Dock Bowl if you miss it. As you're heading towards the Chapel Hyperloop, kill two chickens and grab their leather. As of Season 5, you only need two leather now since the Quiver doesn't need it anymore. Prior to this season, you needed three, so that's a nice change, and TP in the Dock. If you spawn in a lewd zone, move to the next, because you'll need a full distribution worth of items here. I want to note quickly, but right here, y'all know the dog that's on the other side of this wall? If you need a quick escape and you have a camera on you, Razi can actually E over this wall to the dog. To my knowledge, this, the Boron Temple, and the dog in school are the only places you can do a wall hop. Let me know in the comments if I'm missing somewhere. Anyways, keep following your save plan, and you should end up with five completed items at this point. Basically, if you see someone in dock, you kill them. Unless you get some weird early game, or you mess up your passive combo, you should kill them. Even Rio once you get your items. Remember that water you saved earlier? Use one with a lighter for boiled water, and one with a battery. If you need SP, drink the raw coffee you find in dock. If you didn't grab stones in dock, you can get them in factory if you're padding that way. You want to path towards the factory TP. There's a bit of a checklist you'll want to do before you get there however. First thing you want to do is check where the meteorite spawns are. If there's a meteorite coming to factory, chapel, or uptown, I like to contest it. It's on your path and you're probably one of the first people there and you're pretty strong. You should also try to find a gun and an extra battery to make an EMP drone with your leftover cam. You technically can make another Glock if you want. I find it just slows your route down and with the new XP for previously crafted items it's not entirely worth it. Try to grab two lighters if you can and bonus if you can grab two oil. The wolves will get you a leather for your gun and on the off chance that they drop an ion battery, you can make EV on the spot. I prioritize Meteorite over Wolves though, but if it's not spawning near you, do the Wolves. You want to get to Meteorite a bit quicker than I did. Thankfully, no one came, but realistically, someone could have took it before I got there. Hold on to it for Pegasus. After you finish in Factory, head to Temple. The only thing you need here is a Medallion, which is always a pain for me to find for whatever reason. You pretty much always get the top bear here. There's not many times I can remember not getting it. Use the leather from the bear on the Fabric Armor to prep for Mythwell Armor. This is a bit of a death zone though. You need to watch out for Sua. I don't know what it is, but she feels stronger at this point. I guess if you're better at dodging than I am, then you can probably kill her, but most of the time, Sua beats me. You also want to watch out for Zaheer, just because of the nature of Zaheer. You technically should win that fight, despite Zaheer being a pretty bad matchup for you, simply because most of the time, if they're doing that School Avenue Pond Temple route, they're not full build yet. Rio and Mai sometimes show up here, and for me, it feels like a 50-50. Most of the time, I would imagine you should win that. 11s you'll sometimes see, but I don't know what build that they do that end up here, and you should probably kill them. Everyone else that shows up here, you kill. Make sure you grab potatoes before you leave. 
leave two and then TP into Uptown. I path to the left side of Uptown. You're here for Electron Blaster, Chocolate, and Codfish. Chocolate for hot chocolate. It's Rousey's best SP drink due to her passive. Cod for fish and chips. If you didn't get enough oil in Factory, you can grab it now too. If you're quick enough, you can get the bears here as well. I sort of get them maybe 60% of the time. We're also going to be transitioning to EB here. Find a carbonated water for your battery if you didn't get one off the bears. If you're incredibly fast, you can have fish and chips hot chocolate, and electron blaster with full build, and you can go contest alpha. Most of the time, and if you went for the early meteorite, you won't get there. Use the mithril from alpha to transition op suit into mithril armor. After uptown, I like to go to factory and farm the wolves. If you're an advanced player and keep track of timers, you'll realize that the wolves you took before are going to be coming back up soon. I like to go back and reclaim them for the chance that I roll a mithril off them. I know Razi was kind of known as this early game menace that got early kills and ran people down early game and early this and early that, but most of the time, if I don't get a kill and dock, I don't have a kill opportunity until after this point. Since factory was closed this game, I opted into hotel. Considering that I had previously saw a Rousey take alpha on satellite radar and figured she would run up to the hotel next, the other Rousey made a pretty big mistake. She wasted E on the dog. Rousey doesn't have any problems farming. You almost never need to use E on a hunt, especially not a dog. I picked up the easy kill, took her mithril and made it into mithril armor and then TP'd the temple. Remember the timers I was just talking about? Once you finish in factory, head back up to temple and you'll be in time for the bears that you previously took, give or take a minute. Also, there's lots of bats in temple if you need cameras. Make sure you grab console first too so that you can spot the Luke running into your zone. Because Rosie likes to front load a lot of her damage, if you get the jump onto someone, you're likely just win the fight. Get the jump on him and pick up another kill. Clear out the rest of the hunts in temple too. I saw a Kathy run for meteorite. You don't really need a second meteorite because most of the time you're going to contest the mega for force core and you can spend your time hunting. You want to keep your mastery up. As you can see, 13 is the highest in the game. I chased Kathy around a bit before forcing her to alt over a wall and then turned my attention to Luke who is now getting the meteorite. If you don't get the jump on Luke, Luke, he can be a little difficult to deal with. If you dodge Q, then it's a pretty free fight. If he does hit Q, I like to R as he's coming towards you with his Q, and then E as he jumps behind you. Luke's usually W as soon as they E, so I like to E immediately to time out as much of the duration of his W as possible. As you can see, if you dodge Q, there's really not much he can do. I had some time before Wick spawn, so I TP'd the beach to pick up some hunts. Same with Hotel. You pretty much want to always contest Wick if you feel even or ahead in the lobby. I took console and Pond and didn't see anyone around, so I started it up. Opposite to trying to get killed, you want to hold your damage fighting wick so that you can execute it with all. Try to get it to just under half and then all in it with R. Also, make sure you're staying healthy while you're doing wick. If this was anybody other than a Hyun Woo, I'd probably just die here. Thankfully, Hyun Woo is one of Rousey's best matchups. Fault over the Hyun Woo and hold your E push back until his W wears off. They almost always use it immediately after you vault, and I know it's bugged and it just comes out sometimes randomly but try to hold it. Also, make sure you have three slots open for Wick so you don't get your med kit stolen like I did. Bait out his E by sidestepping next to a wall. It's a little dangerous if you're not quick enough, but it basically guarantees a kill each time if he whiffs. With your Wick items, you want to try and have the greatest amount of good in your inventory. If you have Tiara, then go Opera Mask. If you have Pegasus or Halo, go Red Shoes. If you have Bucephalus, go Red Shoes. And if you end up making Opera Mask with the blood, then go Taproots with the med kit. If you get a Mithril, go Mithril Shield or Mithril Quiver depending on what you need. Mithril Shield just got buffed this season, so I wanted to test it out. I made tap roots and used a bit of timer to get other from Avenue. Clear out the hunts, went safe, and get to the final zone. Since I had Wick, I figured Kathy and Yuki would opt into the other final zone. If you're ever in this position, where you're alone in the zone and there's two people in the other zone, I find the most success with waiting until the day timer is lower than your own timer. This way you can never time out. In my case, I had 46 seconds on my red zone timer, so I waited till the day timer had 40 seconds and then I started heading over. Most of the time, you'll probably get both kills. I didn't get the execute on Kathy, unfortunately, but because Yuki had been fighting, I was able to pick him up and get the win. That's pretty much it for Rousey. I route the same path pretty much every time I run the two guns route. Even with her other routes, it's just the looting phase that changes, and I do the same things in mid to late game. That's going to be it for this video. If you like these kinds of guides, leave a like and let me know in the comments what character you want to see next. Subscribe for more videos similar to this one, and I'll see you in the next video.